Hi, I am Lucas Trier and you're about to watch my 2017 portfolio video. My skills range from interactive data visualization to programming network and 3D apps. I taught courses for architects on programming and 3D visualization. And I am part of a young startup for which I created the web backend. The data map project shows temperature and noise measurements. It was developed for an exercise at the massive open online course called Smart Cities. The measurements shown here are contributed by students from all over the world. The architecture of the map is intentionally very simple. The app consists of a PHP script that validates the input data and stores it to a CSV file. The accumulated data is then visualized on a map using color-coded dots and a dynamic day-night separator. The Lucy project is in fact an assembly from several sub-projects. At its core there is a data relay server that features a configuration web page to orchestrate the services registered to it. To facilitate the integration of the network connections into various 3D applications, we provide connection APIs in many languages. In the video you can see a prototype installation making use of Lucy's capabilities. The output of a parametric design tool is sent via Lucy to an agent simulation running in a Java game engine. The geometry produced by the simulation is then cached in Lucy and made available to the services running in parallel. These services are an OpenGL geometry viewer, Blender being used as a real-time renderer, a simple computation service that maps distances to buildings on a texture, which is then being consumed by the OpenGL Geometry Viewer again. Whenever you modify your design, or in case the simulation produces new geometry, the services react. Lucy can be used as a tile server for maps as well. In this example, you can see the locations of images sent in by students of a massive open online course by Professor Gerhard Schmidt. The web app was used in an exhibition at Migros Museum for Contemporary Arts in Zurich. Visitors were using the app on a touch table. The app also includes a guessing game in which the visitors were presented five photographs and asked to guess where they were taken. As a result, we were able to tell which images were recognized best. The Swiss Urbanization Map is a yet unpublished website to visualize population density per municipality. As also discussed in the media, we are in the middle of a global urbanization phase. Statistical authorities claim that today more people live in cities than on the countryside. For Switzerland, they assume an urbanization rate of 75%. The tool lets you play with these numbers. You can also select municipalities you think are urban and check the resulting urbanization rate. This map illustrates a tank shooting range and visualizes the target visibility per location on the tank runway. It also includes several static information layers such as an avalanche risk layer or hazard zones for hikers. The Crowd Simulation course is an introductory programming course for architecture students. The language we taught was Java and processing. The participants were asked to implement a simple agent in a simulation of the Galiente Festival in Zurich. In a competition at the end of the course we determined the agent that populated the site most. To make Blender more universally accessible for planning projects, I rewrote the DXF importer that is now based on a DXF library called DXF Grabber. In 2016, I improved it so it can handle transformed polygons to be able to deal with the LOD2 model of Zurich. Visualizing Zurich's public transport schedule in a 3D context incorporates many aspects of a digital workflow today's architecture students should learn. 3D modeling and editing, basic Python programming to simplify repetitive tasks, data acquisition from pu public or open authorities such as OpenStreetMap. What you see here is a visualization of buses and trams at Buchekplatz between 7 and 8 in the morning and the visibility and dis dis distance analysis using open shading languages. This work emerged out of a collaboration with ETH Zurich Urban Think Tank Studio. It envisions a traffic circulations on multiple layers, 
integrating elevators and escalators into the public traffic network. The technique using 2D sprites in a 3D scene was used also in a concept video for Bartenfahrt 2017. The projections on this temporary building by Peter Häusler at Stadtfest Baden in 2012 were contributed by several students of a course on architectural projections I held in that year. The projections are mostly created in Blender, as we also tried to embody spatial illusions. To cover the entire building we used five projectors and a tool called Mesh Warp Server. The startup project I work on together with four colleagues is called Vigilitech. Our first product we plan to launch starting next year is a wireless sensor for vitality data of mice. At Vigilitech I am responsible for the website which includes also the display of the acquired vitality data directly on the web page. Thank you for watching.